If you create a new project, you need to specify a package name and also a bundle identifier. And we will look in this tutorial how you can create your custom identifier and your own package name. And this is especially needed if you use Firebase, the Play Store or App Store, because in all of these places, your identifier needs to be unique and no one else can have the same identifier for their app in their App Store or Play Store. And also no one can have the same identifier within their Firebase project. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by creating our first project. And I'm already here in the console in my project folder. And then I type here Flutter Create. And after this, you write your project name and you press enter, and then he will create your project. The problem of this approach you will see if you open your project and then go to Android app build Gradle. And here inside you have then your application ID. And here it says com example. And this is for an example domain. And what we want to have is our own domain. So in total, if you write flutter create my flutter project, then he will create a custom domain, which is com.example. And this is not what you really can use for later uploading your project to the Google Play Store or to the Apple App Store. And here you can see again the result of this flutter create command without specifying your domain. Then he will simply create here your Android package name with this com example prefix. And also your iOS bundle ID has here this com.example prefix. And this package name, which consists of your domain and your project name needs to be unique. So in the app store, there can only be one app with this name. And therefore you simply take here your custom domain and then your Flutter project, and then it will be unique. Therefore, let's look at how we can create our custom domain. We simply type here Flutter create. After this, you write org, which stands for organization. And here you supply your reverse domain. So if for example, you have amazon.com, then you write here com.amazon. And at the end, you can put your project name, for example, in this case, shopping, and then you can press enter. So in total for specifying your domain, the command looks like this, where you put here your reverse domain inside. And secondly, you put here your project name inside. So here I chose a real project name, for example, for amazon.com, they have a shopping app and they simply call their project shopping. And now you have the advantage that your Android package name and your iOS bundle ID have the same identifier. So this is not a problem because we have first of all here this for the Play Store, the identifier, and this one is for the App Store and therefore there's no conflict. Let's also see the package name again in our build Gradle. So here you see we have com.amazon shopping and you can also go to the iOS folder and here you can open it in Xcode if you have a Mac. And here you can go to runner and then you also see your bundle identifier is here com Amazon shopping. So we have here the same identifier for the app store and also for the play store. And lastly, you can specify the iOS language of your flutter project. And therefore you have here two options. You can select object C or Swift. And for each project, which you create without this parameter here at the end, then Swift is the default language for iOS. However, you can also supply here the object C if you like. And secondly, you can also supply here the Android language. And here you can supply if it should be Java or Kotlin. And by default, we have every time Kotlin if you create a project. However, you can also supply here Java and then the project itself is in Java. And this will result then in these Android and iOS folders. And if I go right now here into the source, you see he has created this Kotlin folder because we have right now the default option Kotlin. However, if you only create your project with this Android language Java, then you don't see here inside this Kotlin folder. And the same works also for iOS. So if you supply here the iOS language for object C, then the iOS folder here in your project is also different. And lastly, as a small bonus, I want to mention if you type here your project name in lowercase and underscore, then he will create here this Android package name also with this underscores inside. And for iOS, the underscores are removed and they will hump each letter here. 
However, like I showed you before, if you take here a simple name for your project name, then your package name and your iOS bundle ID have here the same name and they are exactly the same. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye!